Okay, so this is still the uh, Samsung G7 Odyssey screen, 32 inches, 240 hertz, and one millisecond response time. Um, I'm gonna try and show you guys some options regarding color schemes. Um, I'm sorry for getting in the way a little bit, but the problem that I have right now, or at least I don't have it on HDR because it's on 240 hertz and it has the eight bit per color or something, the eight, the eight BPC. I can turn on HDR in a few seconds, but I'm gonna leave it at 240 hertz here in the screen. And the funny thing is, if I turn the um, 144 hertz and HDR on, on the PC, the screen still says it's on 240 hertz. So that's a little bit weird. But yeah, as you can see, 240 hertz, black equalizer. I can turn that down completely for you guys so you can see what's gonna happen with the picture. It does glitch a little bit and it turns almost into like black and white. So the black equalizer has to be on 20 for me. Um, you can see a smear on the left, but that's the, the picture from the background. Then we have response time. We have it on fastest, MBR, motion blur reduction. We've got adaptive sync off because if you turn it on, it's gonna put in some stuff for itself. We have the low input lag on. We have the virtual aim point off. Screen size is wide. Um, you can put it on 17 inch, 19 inch, 19 inch, six, uh, 16 by 10. So you can even turn the inches inside the screen itself, which I'm not gonna do because I've turned up everything as I wanted to. We can put it on auto, but we have it on wide because that's fine. Um, then we can go to picture. Uh, we cannot put in the picture mode because that would be custom. And we've put it on the uh, specific settings where it's pre-programmed. So we have our brightness. I have it on zero because I'm pretty close to the screen and every single time when it gets uh, dark at night, um, it's actually hurting my eyes. But as you can see, it can get very, very bright. And the details are still stunning. So I'm gonna leave it on the brightness right now like this. We can get our contrast, which is on 75, which again, I'm gonna turn it completely to 100 and then turn it completely back for you guys so you can see what that looks like and how much it changes. I should have my camera on 4K, so it should be a little bit easier to see instead of uh, full HD. So we're gonna leave it at 75. We can put in our sharpness, which is now on 60. Which, I mean, look at the details. Look at her um, her wet spots and her skin. It's very, very detailed now, but it's, it's not really nice. And this is actually very motion blur-like. So we're gonna leave that at 60, which is fine for me, to be quite fair. And then, of course, the color and the black level we can change because that's all pre-programmed now into this mode right now. Um, we have picture in picture, which is a little bit laggy. If I do that, which I'm, I don't want to actually do right now because it's going to fuck up the screen a little bit. I still think they have to uh, update the screen because if I uh, press this and I would like put something in regarding an HDMI or whatever, um, it does work the picture in picture. But the problem is it's going to turn up the, or it's going to turn down the resolution. So um, I actually don't want to show you guys. So just believe me that it's absolute crap right now and that they need to fix that. Um, language English, display time 20 seconds. We have the core lighting and local dimming. I don't know what the local dimming is regarding, oh wait, control the brightness of the individual areas on the screen to automatically maximize contrast. If you select auto, local dimming will be automatically turned on or off based on whether the content is HDR. So um, I had it on off, but I should actually put it on auto. Uh, we have headphones, and that's, we've turned it off, the off timer. Uh, I don't know what this is, the PC AV mode. Um, select the PC slash AV mode for the display port one source. So this is on PC. Uh, I can put that on AV, uh, maybe audio video. I don't know, maybe if I put a console up there, I have to put the AV mode on there. I don't know. And then we have the supercharging display port, yada, yada. And then we have the stuff here regarding sports. Now I'm gonna try it one time, this picture in picture mode. Look what happens. I mean, last time it screwed me over. Like really, really bad. No signal. See, now it's like really weird. But it has a picture in picture on the top left right now. So that's all right. But it's, again, the resolution is like really meh. And it's darker. So it's not.